Parshat Achremot provides instructions for the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, as he prepares to ritually cleanse the entire community of their sins. He is to go into Kodesh HaKodeshim, the Holy of Holies, just once during the year on Yom Kippur. Nobody else is permitted in, and he only goes in this one time each year. Inside, he performs a ritual to cleanse the whole community of their sins. First, though, the Kohen Gadol must atone for himself and for his family. A leader cannot take a community where they have not been themselves. After washing his body and putting on a special sacral linen tunic, the high priest is to bring two goats and one ram for the, for the community, as well as a bull for himself and for his household. When he reaches the entrance of the Ohel Moed, the tent of meeting, he decides which goat to sacrifice and which to send into the wilderness as, literally, a scapegoat with the people's sins. The ritual of the sacrifice, the expiation of the community's wrongdoings, is intense and scary. While the Kohen Gadol is performing his ritual inside the Holy of Holies, the community waits for him, anxious for him to emerge having cleansed them. Imagine how intense it would feel if someone else were responsible for cleaning your slate. Even though we no longer have a temple or an appointed high priest to atone for us, we still have many rituals associated with Yom Kippur, everything from the clothes we wear to the tradition of fasting. But as, contemporary, as a commentary in Machsor Lev Shalem reminds us, these rituals are no substitute for the work of repentance, of tshuva. Rather, they are the culmination of a long process of self-examination, repentance, and repair, inaugurated 40 days earlier on the first of Elul. After we have sought and granted forgiveness from each other, it is the day of Yom Kippur itself that gives us a sense of closure. It can give us a sense of transcendence and of transformation. May our reflecting, apologizing, atoning, and forgiving enable each of us to be present and transformed this Yom Kippur.